Helical strakes are one of the most common solutions to address vortex shedding. Helical strakes consist of three fins that wrap around the top one-third of the stack in a helical pattern. They can be welded or bolted to the stack. The strakes work by disrupting the formation of the vortices on the stack. This disruption comes at a heavy cost because the wind drag on the cylinder with strakes is doubled. If the stack is tall and slender, then this increased wind resistance can result in a much heavier and more expensive stack. Helical strakes are not recommended when there is another tall structure nearby because interference effects between the structures can make the strakes ineffective. Segmented strakes are easier to fabricate than continuous helical strakes. However, segmented strakes don't work effectively and are not recommended. There are some advantages to using helical strakes. They've been used successfully for decades. They are a simple design and they can be economical for short stacks. There are also several disadvantages to using helical strakes. The biggest is that they increase the wind load on the stack significantly, which can make the stack more expensive, especially for tall stacks. They are also very difficult to fabricate. They are not useful when there's another tall structure nearby due to interference effects. And the codes provide little guidance on what to do with complex situations. The MechaStack software will consider helical strakes in the design. The software considers the weight and the additional wind area. Helical strakes are designed by code-based rules, and there is no way to quantify how effective helical strakes will be at disrupting vortices. When a user specifies the use of helical strakes in MechaStack, then no further checks are made regarding the vortex shedding.